to another weekly vlog, but it's just, you know, cat bombing in the background there. Um, I'm just waiting for my parents to come up. We're going out for dinner today. Um, I'm just wearing this ASOS dress, which was £3 from the Cancer Research Shop, and I love it because it's quite festive without being kind of out there. Um, I'm just going to read a little bit of In Praise of Slow. Um, this book I put down for a while and I was going to DNF it, but I'm going to persevere with it. So I hope you're having a good day and hopefully there'll be some kind of montage. I'm not going to try and film too much when I'm around my parents because that's family time, but there might be a few montage clips. So I'm quite disappointed. Um, I've just watched last week's vlog on YouTube. And I don't know if it's the video editor I was using, but it has totally messed up all the sound and everything. So I've just downloaded iMovie and I've got Bert here sitting with me. Ernie's over there playing with his new toy. And I'm going to try and hopefully make this week's vlog a little bit better. So sorry about that. I had forgotten what it was like to have two cats that absolutely loved you. I've had to put the Mac down because Ernie wanted to get up on my lap and he wasn't going to take no for an answer. Why are you, Ernie? Nope. I don't normally get book mail at this time on a Saturday night. It is about nine o'clock and I've just had a knock at the door from an Amazon man. Um, I have been sent from, I think it's Ramus Reads on Twitter um, a lovely girl called Becky has sent me Alice Oseman's Radio Silence from my wish list, which I'm every time I receive one of these parcels, I am just overwhelmed with the kindness of the book community that have sent me these. Um, so I can't wait to get into that. And I mean, it's going to look fantastic on my rainbow shelves, isn't it? And then from the kindness group that I'm in on Instagram. Um, the hashtag is hashtag Amy's Wishless Kindness if you want to see what people have been buying each other. But Amy, who runs the group, she herself was sent this book today and then ordered it for me as she saw as she saw it on my wish list. And that's the girl who speaks bear. Both of these I am so looking forward to reading. So thank you so much to the people that are sending me books. Like I say, it has absolutely made my day. I also meant to share with you this morning that yesterday I DNF'd this book all the wrong places. I just couldn't get into this. It was one that I was kindly sent from Readers First. Um, and if you aren't already signed up from Readers First, there is my Readers First code down here somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of described as a thriller. But I got about 50 pages in and I was just bored. I don't know, it just didn't sit right with me, didn't flow the book, so I decided to DNF it because life is too short to read books that I'm not enjoying. Good afternoon. So in the last clip that you just saw, um, on Sunday we went to Loughborough and we primarily just went for a look around before we go to the cinema. We both have Cineworld Unlimited cards so we see a lot of films. Um, we saw Knives Out which was pretty good actually. Um, it wasn't a big action film but we both really enjoyed it. But I did get this absolute bargain rocking chair. I'll insert a picture here if I can. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. Um, I paid £25 for this. It's a proper like maternity one. 
um, with all the proper mechanisms in it. And I looked online and with a footstool, they're £180. So I definitely got a £25 bargain. Um, I just thought I'd pop on here and say, um, if you saw my Instagram, you'll see that I had a bit of a bad day yesterday. Um, so I didn't vlog anything. I was at work from 12 till 8 though. But in the morning, I got a phone call from the hospital um, confirming my date for surgery. Now, I've been waiting for this surgery since the beginning of October. So I knew it was going to be coming. I don't know if you heard that. But I don't know what my cats have just broken. Okay, so they just knocked off an ornament in the bathroom. So nothing too bad. Anyway, I had this this phone call yesterday and my date for surgery is the 14th of January, which is five weeks from today. And I, it's just something about it made it feel all real. Um, I haven't, don't think I've talked about it too much on my Instagram, uh, on my YouTube, but I have um, kind of a four chronic diagnosis. So I have IBS, which has been going on the longest since I was 13. And if you know much about IBS, I have IBSD, which means that um, I spend a lot of time in the toilet. Um, I'd kind of been getting my IBS under control for the last year or so, and I was doing really well with it. But I keep growing um, ovarian cysts, and that's my second diagnosis. So my consultant said that my um, cysts are kind of related to endometriosis but for my cysts they grow the cut off point for when they will um they need to remove a cyst if it's over five centimeters and i think the smallest one i've had has been seven centimeters um the one that i've got currently was nearly eight centimeters when it was last measured in must have been October, September, October time. And I can tell from the size of my stomach that it's a lot bigger now. Um, but I've had, I think the biggest one I've had was 14 centimetres. And that was removed along with my left ovary um, last year in September. And then this time I'm going for the full hysterectomy. Um, because I have so much scar tissue, my consultants have said that I may end up with um, a urostomy and there's a big chance that I'll have a colostomy after it. So although I've come to terms with a lot of these things, my other two diagnoses are anxiety and depression. And since yesterday, my anxiety and IBS have just gone through the roof. And I'm, I know that it's down to getting the date because it's come to the forefront. But I have five weeks, so I'm going to take the time over the next five weeks to get my house sorted so that it's easy to keep on top of um, when I've had my surgery because for the first kind of three weeks I won't be allowed to do anything. The first week I'm not even allowed to lift a kettle. Um, my pre-op is in four weeks today but I sort of want to get back into yoga and try and get my body as well as I can. Um, I've got a doctor's appointment first thing tomorrow morning because I'm struggling with pain relief and things like that. So yeah, I have some um, book mail to show you. So the first thing I've been sent is She by H.C. Warner. I was sent this to review from HQ Stories. And I love the fact that, so it's She is All He Ever Wanted. And I'm trying not to read any of the um, plot. But actually, you get to a point and it says, Ben's world is about to turn upside down. And you turn over the book and it says, She is All He Never Wanted. And I like the fact that it's going to be a story in two parts like that. Um, so I can't wait to pick that one up. Like I say, that was sent to me from um, HQ Stories. That comes out in January 2020. So I've got three that I want to try and get read before I have my surgery. I don't know what's going to happen after my surgery. Because, like I say, I have it on the 14th of January. Um, I'm going to be in hospital for around a week if I'm lucky, it may be longer. Um, so I'm going to take some books with me, obviously, but I'm going to probably pick some stories that it doesn't really matter if I don't concentrate too much on them, but we'll see. But I got The next package I got from a book swap group on Facebook called Little Book Swap, and I've got to send my package tomorrow, um, but 
I was sent um, Dorothy Coombson's That Girl From Nowhere. Now, Dorothy Coombson isn't an author that I've read, but I've heard a lot about her. So again, that's going to be probably on my January TBR. My January TBR is going to be absolutely huge. Um, the last thing that I bought is snag tights. Now, if you've watched any of my What I Wore In A Week video, and can I get my leg up to show you? I have some on right now. These are pumpkin spice. Um, I absolutely love snag tights. As a girl with thin legs and a big belly, I have never found tights that will stay up over my belly but aren't too big on my legs. So I wear a size E. And I just wanted to show you, this isn't sponsored or anything. <laughs> I wish it was. If snag tights ever want to sponsor me, I will not say no. But they come wrapped in these gorgeous little bags. Um, and today, so I bought black which you know black tights are black tights and I thought let me show you the colours that I've got so I bought Queen Vic which are these bright blue tights and what else did I get oh mustard because I had some mustard tights which I absolutely love but they kept rolling down I had to wear like three pairs of pants over them to hold them up so I've ordered them from snag tights um, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. My husband is at his um, work Christmas do, so I think I'm just going to go and have a bath because I'm really cold and I can't get warm. And then I'm going to actually try and read for the day. Um, I've started listening to Josie Silver's One Day in December on audiobook because I was watching Hayley's vlog, which I'll link up here, and she said about how amazing it was. So when I saw that it was free on Libby had to take it and I'm also reading Ruth Dugdall's The Sacrificial Man which I'm not very far into it and already um it's quite intriguing so I might come and talk to you later you might see some more montage clips or I might just see you tomorrow so I decided that quite a few um booktubers that I follow have been listening to audiobooks while reading it along and I've started doing that with one day in December and I absolutely love the experience it's something quite different um but so far I'm really enjoying it good morning today is not a good day pain wise and so I have brought my duvet down to the sofa I have a Bert there hi Bert and I'm just going to spend the day having painkillers, heat pads, and hopefully getting some reading done. But for now, I just want to sleep some more chronic pain life, eh? So it's half past midnight and I can't sleep because I feel so nauseous. So I've just come and got on the sofa. Oh, hi there. Um, these two think that it's breakfast time so they're not happy that I'm down here and I'm not giving them any food but I just thought I'd get comfy and read a bit more of um, Ruth Dougal's The Sacrificial Man I'm really enjoying this book so I'm still not feeling brilliant so I've brought myself up to my book room and I intend to do a bit more reading and um, I just wanted to share with you that I am DNFing this book I really like the idea of it I want to read more about the slow food movement but it just <laughs> the only thing that I can say is it's very American and I think it's a few years old and four that would be why um I don't think it's there's a lot of stuff in here now that I didn't think was relevant in modern day so I'm gonna DNF that I'm still reading the Sacrificial Man, I'm about that far through. Um, this will be on an Instagram tour on Saturday, so I hope I to get that finished today. And I'm also still reading and listening to One Day in December by Josie Silver. So I don't really know where to start with the book mail. I'll start with the swaps. So um, for my book swap group, I got Dumpling, which I am so excited for. I've seen the Netflix show and I just really want to read the book and it's one of those American like really floppy paperbacks so that makes me happy and I also got uh, Eat Lockhart's We Were Liars and again looking forward to reading that and then I've had two Secret Santa parcels turn up and I'm so excited for these so I've got An Anonymous Girl by... Rhea Hendricks and Sarah Pacannon. Like I say, a lot of things that I add to my wish list, I add because I see someone recommend them on Booktube. And then I don't 
I never remember quite what it was about them that I liked, but yeah. And then the next one that just came through my door today, I'm not actually sure who this is off. Um, there was no note with it, but it is Birthday by Meredith Russo. Check out that beautiful. I'm so excited to read this. I know I say that about all my books, but I genuinely am really excited. I'm such a mood reader that I have to be in the right um frame to read it and then I was sent this package this is from HQ no this is from Dark Room Tours sorry um from Sh Simon and Schuster as part of a blog tour that I'm going to be on in January and that's Rachel Hawes of the Love Child um I'm not sure about this in that I generally don't like kind of historical fiction and this is set in the world in 1917 but it's about a 19 year old Alice Copeman unmarried she's forced by her parents to give up the child as soon as it is born and it's two extraordinary stories intertwined across two decades um I don't know if I've ever mentioned here but I'm adopted so anything like this really speaks to me um and I'm looking forward to reading that then the next thing is something that I purchased myself um before I realized that I was going to be having um surgery and getting poor <laughs> i decided that i'd like to subscribe to a couple of book boxes so there's one that i'm going to share today and one that should be on its way um both of these i've just got one off box and then once i'm back at work i'm going to try and subscribe to these this was the first one that i really wanted to support and it's books that matter um so each month you'll get a book um it's a feminist book subscription and it's supporting small businesses so if you if you're getting this box and you don't want any spoilers i'd skip ahead now but the book is she is fierce and it's brave bold and beautiful poems by women now i started reading this yesterday and just from looking at the um contents there is one called a fifth dudley girl guides well i was in the first upper gornal girl guides which is in dudley basically so knowing that there is something from my hometown made me smile um, in the box you also get a little bit of a leaflet explaining um, what the box is about and the gifts and it also gives you, if there's anything that's made by independent creators, it'll be on here. Um, I got this beautiful bookmark that says all we need is each other and it says we rise by lifting others. Now at the time of filming this I haven't been to vote yet, I'm waiting for my husband to get home from work. Um, I cried at the Brexit result. So you'll probably see on the vlog tomorrow, I'm either going to be really happy or probably crying, depending on the result. Come on, let hope win. It got this raw halo, milk, goji berry and vanilla chocolate. Um, I've already started eating this and it's bloody lovely. I've never had raw halo before, but that, that is definitely worth it. Um, I've got this sew on patch. Now, I can't sew... So if anybody has any ideas of kind of glues or anything that would work with this, because I really want to put this on my dungarees. And it's by Anna Jacks, a Bristol-based graphics artist whose style encompasses diverse female figures and bold colours. There's also a keyring in here from Bookishly. And the keyring was, it says on it, Sisterhood. And then these two beautiful cards, um, one that says Season of Sisterhood and one that is just a gold star. So like I say, um, I have had to cancel my subscription already because I am trying to save up for four months worth of expenses this month, which my expenses are pretty low anyway, so I think I can do it. I'm lucky that my husband pays the rent and things, but once I'm back at work, I will choose which box I'm going to subscribe to. The Books That Matter box is £19, I think. So that's all the bits that I've got in the post today and yesterday. Um, for now, I'm just going to sit back in my chair. I've got my blanket, put my headphones on and listen to One Day in December while reading the book. <laughs>
exciting has just happened. So I hit my Goodreads reading challenge and read 100 books this year. I originally set my target as 25 as I just wanted to get back into reading and then every time I got near it I bumped it up a little bit so I'm really impressed with that. So I have just finished reading Ruth Dugdall's The Sacrificial Man. Um, when you're seeing this, this will have been on my Instagram today as part of a blog tour. This book was dark. Now, I keep be meaning to pick up Karen Slaught's books because I've heard they're dark. And this one has cannibalism in it. Um, it was one of those books, um, I've given it a four star because a lot of it was five star, but there were just some bits that I thought either slowed the plot down or didn't need to be there but um I definitely wish there had been more from um the probation officer's view but yeah really enjoyed this book would definitely recommend it very, very strong so evil it's midnight and I am sat on the sofa watching the, the election so is it really and if the exit polls are anything to go by I am absolutely tourism, heartbroken well, I think there'll be some. I don't really know what else to say. The country, I'm having a hot London. flush. It's a very different picture for the Conservatives, a much tougher <sighs> political battleground. So it's a relationship. I think Bert knew that I was feeling was. sad about but the election result because know. he's just come and got on my lap. Purring. Say hi, Bert. Who's that? Is. And as Laura pointed out, Who's that know, handsome boy? So it's going to be really fascinating to watch him over the next few months. So, as you will have just seen in those clips, I went out today for lunch with my friend Kirsty. Um, I will link her channel here. She hasn't done a YouTube video in ages, but I'm ho holding out hope that she will come back for more. Um, you'll have seen this morning that I am utterly heartbroken by the way the country has voted. Um, it's really weird when you're on social media because you're almost kind of in a little bubble. So, everybody that I follow on Instagram and Twitter seem to be voting Labour so for Labour to do so poorly I mean I was completely gobsmacked but anyway me and Kirsty went out for a lovely lunch today and we went charity shopping um I did buy quite a few bits of clothing which I'm going to show you hopefully tomorrow um in a clothing haul but I just wanted to show you here the books that I got and the first books that I got were both from the Samaritan shop. Now the first one is Flawed. I've been looking out for this um, because I'm going to buddy read this with Emily from Novel Novels. Again I'll link her channel up here. And the second one, I've been watching a lot of kind of romance um, booktubers. When I first started booktube the first people that I found were all into thrillers and while I love thrillers I also love contemporary and romance as well. And I can't remember who suggested this, but I added it to my Amazon wish list. So if 
I remember I'll put it here but this is lace and this has got to be the chunkiest book that I own um it really does intimidate me a little bit um it's 700 odd pages long um but it has a um it's lace gave me prolonged pleasure by Helen Fielding who wrote Bridget Jones's diary so I'm looking forward to